The most profound insight we've gained in 15 years may have more to do with engagement than execution. Let me illustrate with a couple of stories. Years ago, we had great success with a major national carpet manufacturer until we started working with one particular plant. I arrived at 5 a.m. to meet with people from two shifts. Half the team had been up all night. The other half had gotten up in the middle of the night. And I think it's fair to say that all of them hated me. They wouldn't look at me, talk to me, or even talk to each other. I'd never before seen a culture so obviously antagonistic. Because their bosses were there, the team started the 4DX process like they were supposed to, but you could feel their resistance. I have to say, I couldn't wait to get out of there. The problem was, I knew I'd be back in five weeks to check on their work. When I went back, it was the same drill. At 5 a.m., I pull into the parking lot. Only this time, two of the employees were waiting for me. And the thought goes through my mind, this could be bad. Well, it wasn't. They actually couldn't wait to talk to me about their scoreboards. We walk into the plant and everyone is talking to everyone and everyone's talking to me like we had always been friends. Well, we had not always been friends. From workstation to workstation, the energy level could not have been more different than the first time that I was there. I called one of my team members at the first break and said, I'm not sure this four discipline stuff is about execution at all. I think this might actually be about engagement. Later that day, I mentioned this dramatic change to the plant manager. His response was really interesting. He said, it's been a long time since these people felt like they were winning at anything. Now, the second story is about my brother, Mark. The only thing Mark ever wanted to do was design cars. When we were kids, he couldn't even imagine anything cooler. Eventually, Mark got into a design program. And he was so talented that a group of Ford automotive executives actually flew across the country to see his final college project. He got hired by one of the big three U.S. automakers to work in their design department. It was his dream. But it turns out it wasn't only his dream. Every designer in his department had the same story. They'd all dreamed about designing cars. They'd all prepared since they were kids. It's fair to say that the entire team was doing the one thing in life they loved and always wanted to do. What does every parent tell their child, right? Do something you love. But here's the shocking part. This design department had the lowest engagement score of the entire organization made up of over 100 departments. So on one hand, you have people on a graveyard shift in carpet manufacturing, probably not their dream job, who were highly engaged. On the other hand, you have people in design jobs doing the work they dreamed about doing since they were kids, and they were totally disengaged. And we couldn't explain this. How do you explain this? In his book, Patrick Lencioni describes three signs of a miserable job. Number one, anonymity. This is when leaders don't know or care about what you're doing. The designers were rarely recognized for the ideas that had helped create the final product. In contrast, the carpet manufacturers got recognized every week in their wig sessions. Number two, irrelevance. This is when you don't understand how your work makes a difference. By the time the ideas became a product, the designers couldn't see a link between their work and the final design. In contrast, by checking their actions against a weekly scoreboard, the carpet employees immediately saw the impact of their work. Number three, immeasurable. This is when you can't measure the contribution you're making. The evaluation of the designer's work was usually based on management opinion rather than market feedback. They felt like they were running a race in the dark. Because the carpet employees had transparent measures with 4DX, they felt like they were part of a winning game. After seeing the effects of 4DX on engagement in the carpet plant, we started seeing it everywhere across every type of industry you could imagine. Think of a time when you were most engaged, when you couldn't wait to get out of bed in the morning. I promise you, in that moment, you thought you were winning. It wasn't about your work conditions, your pay, or even whether or not you liked your boss. We believe the number one driver of morale and engagement is whether a person feels they are winning. Disciplines one, two, and three help you set up a winnable game. Discipline four is how you play that game.